Wow! What's happening in this village? What's it with the preparation? It's neither Eid nor is it Diwali. Then why the celebration? Cameraman, please zoom in. Okay, so this is what's happening. Uncle has managed to get an appointment with a doctor at Ames, Delhi. After four months, ten trips and spending 890 rupees on a bus ticket, apart from loads of time spent on the effort, if people staying in remote villages manage to get a doctor's appointment, it does call for a celebration, doesn't it? You think it's funny, huh? Why don't you take a trip to the hospital and see for yourself? Is this a hospital or a carnival? Now really, it is not the doctor's fault or the nurse's and neither is it the fault of that man at the counter. It's as if the place is getting swept away by a torrent of one huge swelling crowd as each one here is being stretched beyond capacity. The flow of patients never ebbs and there is always someone somewhere who loses the cool. So come. Let us try something smart. Let's take this registration line online. And voila, it's done. Right from an appointment booking to a printout of the registration slip. Everything takes place from the comfort of your home. So, don't you even think of stepping outdoors in the sweltering sun to make that doctor's appointment. No more pushing and shoving. No long queues. No waiting. Go straight from your home into the doctor's room with your appointment. And there's no administrative procedure to be done on the way. Look at the people here waiting to get their lab reports. Is it a curse to be related to a patient? So many hours spent needlessly just for one report. It's time to bid goodbye to that report in hard paper. Records of all patients will now remain online too. The payment line too gets online. Emergency situation for blood arises every day in these hospitals. But say goodbye to those difficult times now. For information on blood too will be available online in real time. For a hospital, these may seem minor contingencies. The real issues are bigger, complex machines, equipment, medicines, and suitable infrastructure. What the government of India, however, envisages are hospitals that are well equipped to deal with patient care, leaving out the issues of appointments, registration, reports, and records from the equation. If all these long winding lines can go online, it would leave the hospital free to take care of the patient efficiently. For it is the responsibility of the hospital to heal and provide remedy, not to give pain. You too can stay away from the long, painful lines and instead register with www.ors.gov.in either from your mobile or computer or else visit your nearby CSC centre. Some hospitals have already gone online with these facilities. The Government of India aims to reach every nook and corner of the country in the coming years. This truly paves the way for a digital India, where life is made easy. Where all the government hospitals of the country will emerge as paper-free, convenient and truly digital. The e-hospital project for India's good health its greatest wealth.